Hey everyone, welcome back. There may be a case scenario in real world data engineering where you are given a strict time constraint. For example, your Spark job must process a massive source dataset within few minutes. To achieve that, you need to carefully calculate and tune your cluster resources. How much CPU and RAM do you need? What should be your executor memory and number of cores be? And how many executor should you launch? In this video, I will walk you through exactly how to figure that out step by step and we will use a real world example of processing a 10 TB of data using Apache's Spark in under 10 minutes. So let's get started. So the first step is understanding the data and partitioning. We are starting with a 10 TB data set. Now by default, Spark uses a 128 MP as the partition size. This means Sparks break your dataset into chunks called partition and each partition is processed by one task. So now let's do the math. 1 TB is equal to 1048576 MB. So 10 TB is equal to 1048560 MB divided by 128 MB, we will get 81,920 partition. This means Spark will launch 81,920 tasks. So now we know how many tasks we have to process. The next step is figuring out how many executor and core we need to run them in parallel. Let's start with the executor cores. A good practice is to allocate 5 cores per executor. Why? Because it balances CPU usage and memory without overwhelming the JVM garbage collector. Now for executor memory. Each task will process 128 MB of data, but we need to account for shuffle, deserialization and overhead. So we multiply it by 3. 128 multiply by 3 gives us 384 MB per task. Now we have to again multiply it by 5 tasks because we have 5 cores. So 384 multiplied by 5 gives 1.92 GB. Add a buffer for JVM overhead and rounding it off, we get executor memory equal to 3 GB. So far, so good. We now have 81,920 tasks. Each executor can run 5 tasks at a time. So if we want to process all the tasks in one go or in one wave, we need 81,920 divided by 5 which gives 16,384 executor. But that is crazy high and totally impractical for most cluster. So instead, let's try to process it in multiple waves using 1200 executor. So that gives 1200 executor into 5 which is equal to 6000 tasks per wave and dividing it 81,920 by 6000 gives around 13.7 waves. Assuming each waves take around 40 seconds, we get 13.7 into 40 which gives 548 seconds which round off to 9 to 10 minutes. Boom, we are under 10 minutes. Now, now let's calculate other parameter. If we use 1200 executor with 5 cores and 3 GB memory each, we need 1200 into 5 which gives 6000 core CPU and memory will be equal to 1200 into 3 GB which gives around 3.6 TB of RAM. This could be a large EMR or Kubernetes cluster or even on-prem if you are lucky. So your final spark submit command will look like a spark submit executor memory set to 3 GB, executor core is set to 5, number of executor is equal to 1200, driver memory will be greater than or equal to the executor memory. 
so this setup is optimized for high throughput and short execution time so here are few tips to increase even more performance use columnar format like parquet or orc avoid shuffles by using map partition or reduce by key instead of group by key use broadcast join when joining with small table enable speculation for strangler task with parameter hyphen hyphen conf spark dot speculation equal to true so is it really possible to process 10 tb in 10 minutes short answer is yes but it depends on having a right cluster size efficient spark code fast storage layer like s3 or sdfs on ssd minimal shuffling and wide joints if everything is optimized it's absolutely doable